Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a no-bake Oreo cheesecake. It's delicious and easy, so let me show you the recipe. I'm starting off with the base for the cheesecake so it can sit in the fridge while I make the filling. The base only requires two ingredients, Oreo cookies and melted butter. The Oreos need to be crushed first so they can be mixed with the butter and there are two different ways that you can do this. If you have a food processor, just add the cookies and process until they resemble fine crumbs. If you don't have one, you can do this manually with a plastic bag. Just add the Oreos into a bag, secure the top so they can't escape, and use a heavy object like a fry pan or rolling pin to bash the cookies. Pour the cookie crumbs into a bowl and set to the side. If you would like the full recipe for this Oreo cheesecake, it will be listed in the information box as well as a printable version on my website. Just click the link on the screen. Measure out the butter and add to a small microwave safe bowl or a saucepan and heat in the microwave or over low heat on the stovetop until it has completely melted. Leave it to cool for a few minutes so it isn't boiling hot. Add the melted butter to the Oreo crumbs and use a wooden spoon to mix the ingredients together until the texture resembles wet sand. Pour the cookie crumbs into a 20cm or 8 inch lined and greased cake tin and use the back of a spoon to press the crumbs down firmly and evenly. Place the cake tin into the fridge to set. While the base is setting, I'm going to start on the filling. In a clean bowl, pour in the whipping cream and whip until the cream is at the soft peak stage. You can tell it's at the soft peak stage when you lift up the whisk and the cream just holds its shape. I usually use a whisk for doing this. It doesn't take long at all, just a few minutes, and you have a lot more control not to overbeat the cream rather than using a hand beater. Set the cream to the side, we'll use it in a few minutes. In a medium sized clean bowl, add in the room temperature cream cheese and icing or powdered sugar. By the way, if you're wondering, they are the same things, just different names. Use a wooden spoon to beat the cream cheese and sugar together until it is completely smooth and softened. This should only take a minute or so. Try to leave the cream cheese out for a few hours before you need to use it because you will have such a hard time beating it straight out of the fridge. Once the cream cheese and sugar is soft, in a small bowl add a tablespoon of gelatin and a few tablespoons of boiling water. Use a spoon to mix the gelatin and water together until the gelatin has dissolved. This will take about a minute or so. As this is a no-bake cheesecake, the gelatin is the setting agent. It's what's going to make it hold its shape. If you would like a vegetarian alternative to gelatin, try using agar agar. Pour the dissolved gelatin into the bowl with the cream cheese and sugar and mix together until well incorporated. Use the whisk to beat everything together well. You'll be left with a smooth cheesecake filling. Before we add the Oreo crumbs, reserve a cup of the cheesecake filling and set to the side. We're going to use this later on to decorate the top of the cheesecake. Pour in the Oreo crumbs and use the whisk to mix them in. Just a tip here, this cheesecake is cookies and cream flavoured, so if you don't have them or you don't want to use Oreos, you can use another brand. Just make sure they're chocolate cookies with the cream in the middle. Pour the cheesecake filling into the cake tin and use spatula to smooth out the top. Place the cheesecake into the fridge for a few hours to set. Make sure to leave the cup of cheesecake filling at room temperature, it will be fine for a few hours out of the fridge. After a few hours, remove the cheesecake from the cake tin and place on a cake stand or plate to serve. Add the remaining cheesecake filling to a piping bag and pipe swirls on top of the cheesecake. Top with whole Oreo cookies and a sprinkling of crushed Oreos. Place the cheesecake back into the fridge for at least two hours before serving. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you would like to see more no-bake recipes, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.